So you have been given this website and maybe you've decided it's a good website so you've decided to use it yourself or it's a reliable website because it's given to your teacher. Normally when we read a newspaper for example we start reading at the top and go down to the bottom. A good little trick uh, when looking at information on a website is to go to the bottom and it's things like this that would suggest that it's a better quality or more professional uh, in this case wiki in fact more professional uh, website so it's things like contributors to there's a reference to copyright here there are some links creative commons there's a link there um, we've got some tabs underneath here which you can um, click on um, be careful of the word pricing because if we've got the word pricing there these guys are trying to sell you something just something that you need to be aware of Okay, so you give me this website and your teacher has said you need to find some information on poverty. So what you could do is you would use Command F or Control F if you're a PC user and type in the word poverty. So instead of reading all the way through this document, I can get the computer to search for the specific word poverty. And you can obviously do this with any word. It's a good way of using that key vocabulary list that your teacher may have given you to search through a very very large website page without reading the whole lot. So there we can see there I've clicked on the downward tab and it's taken me to the two places in this website where it calls poverty. So I don't have to read through all of the website to find out a specific information and also at the start of the video we talked about some of the things that can suggest if this is a reliable source of information or something that a random person has posted which would make it less reliable.